Boss, thank you very much for joining us. An impressive 6-2 victory today and a great way to finish the second game of pre-season. Yes, uh, very pleased. I uh, thought that, um, again, like Saturday, players have really applied themselves extremely well. Uh, I was pleased with the fact that uh, they worked at an intensity that when the team that played 60 minutes came off, you could tell they'd been in a in a good hour's football, which is, you know, which is at the end of the day why we're, why we're doing it. Uh, and then I felt that we showed some real good discipline, knowing that a um, good Tottenham team and a good Tottenham group were going to come here and try to dominate the ball that we, you know, we were going to have to defend properly. Um, you know, obviously t took our foot off the gas a little bit before half time, but I was pleased on the whole with the way that we applied ourselves and the way we delivered the performance. Before we do get any deeper into the football, today's event was, was much more than just a game of football. Justin Edburgh, of course, was being honoured by two of his former clubs both close and having the family there and, and being able to remember him today was pretty f spectacular. Yeah, I think the fact that, um, like everything at the moment, so much is impacted and I've been talking about this for a long time, um, about trying to find a way from a football perspective that at this time of the year we can, um, we can celebrate Justin, we can celebrate and help recognise what the JE3 is doing and, and give them more exposure. Uh, and then at the same time, it can be an evening where it's beneficial from a football perspective. And I think it wasn't just about tonight. Tonight was fantastic, and it's a great way to celebrate Justin's life and, and what the, you know again what the what the foundation are doing. But at the same time, it's about the longevity of it and how we can try to build something so that for the future, whoever's at Leighton Orient, whoever's at Spurs, that there's that um, continuity for the two clubs that played the biggest, um, the or had the biggest impact on on Justin's life. Uh, and his football career so um, we're delighted that we've played our part in it tonight uh, and like you say um, albeit from a football perspective there was a lot that went in it from that point of view the uh, the big message and, 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 the, and the, uh, the big exposure that we want to come out of it is, is for the J3 Foundation and there were some touching moments with the family following the full time whistle yeah um, yeah it was a sort of um, little bit one of those that I ended up doing the speech and giving the trophy out which uh wasn't overly expecting until until just before kick off to do that. So uh, without any sort of too many preparations, it was uh, it was nice to, to to say some words about Justin and, and try to get the message uh, message across and, and try to express uh, I suppose how much he meant to us and also again you know the the, the part that we want to play in the future of the of the foundation. So um, yeah, nice nice. It was, it was emotional as as it always is when when when, when anything related to Justin comes up for us players and staff that were connected with him but um, you know, hopefully we, we did him proud and, and we gave um, Charlie and Kerry who were here tonight but, but Sydney I'm sure looking, looking on uh, gave him a night to remember. Six goals today for Orient, five different scorers, we look really clinical in front of goal. Yes and I think in a game when you're trying to um, be disciplined defensively uh, and show structure off of what we've been working on for a few days then that that's the that was the priority for me to see tonight, and then you want to be able to counter attack and show that clinical uh, that that clinical level that that you mentioned, and and we did do that. I think um, boys took their goals well. I thought we were creative when we needed to be, um, without getting too carried away. Um, we showed a ruthless edge, and and that's what we need to need to start to get to as the closer we get towards the season. It's about those big moments and being able to uh, to create and put the ball in the net, and we did that tonight. And for both teams, it was split 60-30 as it was against Red, and there was some real opportunity to, to experience different kind of game management. Obviously, the first side were 3-0 ahead and then had to deal with Spurs coming back. And then the yeah. second eleven that had the half an hour in the second half had to actually slide away and make sure the game was a, was an orient win. Yes, I think from, from, from that, I mean, obviously we want to win the game. Uh, and you know, but it's not the be all and end. Though. It's about trying to build our performances more and more and more the closer we get to the season, so that we're ready to go and deliver. But at the same time, it's about trying to breed those winning habits. And we were disappointed at half time, not just me and the staff, but the players that we let we take our foot off the gas a little bit. And 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 Tottenham, you know, Tottenham got themselves back in it, but it could have been three three, had the boy not missed the header at the far post. So I was really disappointed with the fact that we we'd let them come back into it in the latter stage after being quite comfortable. But as you say there, it's, um, it's quite a funny one when you change after an hour because the boys that come on and play 30 minutes almost want to fit the 90 into that 30. So um, you, you're almost sometimes trying to uh, control the enthusiasm. But I think they really come on and show that real structure again and discipline uh, and finish the game off really, really well. 
course, it's still early doors, only two games into pre-season, but as head coach, are you, are you really starting to see things out there in the games that you're implementing out on the training ground? Yes, definitely. We're, we're, we're pleased and I'm pleased with the physical state of the players. Um, you know, Obviously, one or two little niggles that, that have carried carried on through pre-season. You would have seen that Louis Dennis didn't play his part tonight, but we're hoping that's not going to be too serious because he's come back in really good shape. So I'm pleased with the physical state of the players, first and foremost. And then I think the more things that you work on, um, it's not about getting them right straight away. That's that's um, you know that's a dream. Um, it's about trying to show that sort of relentlessness from my perspective to stay on top of people and hopefully, you know, keep reminding people the same messages and then to see snippets of it um, coming through. And but tonight I saw in in, in big chunks um, the defensive side of the game, which we've put a focus on in in the last few days. So I'm uh, I'm really pleased with with the way the boys are taking some of the information off the training ground and and, and putting it into the uh, the limited minutes that they've had so far. This Saturday we'll travel to face Northampton in pre-season, which will bring altogether new challenges. It bring a challenge because we've all got to drive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think uh, yeah, it's going to be different um, travelling to Northampton uh, on the day in the cars. Um, brings back some memories of some of the other different levels of football I've worked at in the past where, where you've had to make your own way to games but it's needs must at the moment and anything that saves the club money and expense so um, that'd be eye-opening to see what that's all about it'd be interesting to go to a club and see how they deal with all of the Covid issues a club that have had experience of doing it already because they obviously played through the playoffs and then for me a club that are on the high on a high and, 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 and looking up because they've been promoted so um, it's going to be a different game altogether from the two we've had already, but one that we feel we're going to be sending, uh, whatever team we put out uh, on Saturday, we're going to be sending into them prepared and, and ready to go and, and build again for, for, for you know another stage of pre-season. And just finally from me, today's one of those occasions you, you wish the supporters could have been with us. Uh, do you have a message for the fans? Yes, um, I think uh, one of the main ones would be, I hope that the, the stream was, was a success. Standing by the pitch, I'm, I'm fortunate that I don't have to worry about if that one goes wrong. But obviously, you know, we, we want all the success and all the, you know, the, the, the new ideas that the club are bringing to the fore that, that they go swimmingly. So I hope, I hope that was smooth and I hope people are gaining a, a positive experience by seeing our performances, albeit from a distance. We do miss you. Um, I think it's you know, vital that we, um, we look towards those days when people are going to be in, in the stadium cheering us on. And I think today would have been a, a real... Um, Another, uh, another, sorry, big emotional experience for everybody. Had we got to experience it together, because it would have been another day that we could have all, all, uh, you know, uh, enjoyed remembering, trying to remember the, the good times that, that Justin Edinburgh brought to us. So, I hope that's something that, that people could get a bit of a feel about today. I don't know when the presentation or if the presentation messages have gone out or will go out, but hopefully when people see them, it, you know, it'll just give people a little bit of a feel of, uh, of what the game was like being in the stadium tonight and uh, the sooner we get you back in, the better.